Have you ever wondered how you can improve your daily routine to better manage your sickle cell disease? Welcome to another insightful episode at the Victory Education Lounge. Today, we're embarking on an empowering journey, exploring the 29th part of our series on home care hacks, daily sickle cell management. Before we jump into these game-changing tips, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Your engagement helps us reach more people with these practical strategies for living well with sickle cell disease. This episode is all about enhancing your daily life, focusing on tips, hacks, and routines that can revolutionize your quality of life. Living with sickle cell disease is more than just crisis management, it's about thriving each day. From morning routines that set the tone for your day to nutrition strategies, hydration tips, energy management, and stress-busting techniques, we've got you covered. We'll also delve into real-world scenarios, daily management strategies, and prevention strategies. So, buckle up and get ready to take control of your well-being. Now let's delve into the practical strategies that can help enhance your daily well-being. Morning routines, set the tone for your day. Let's take a moment to appreciate the power of this statement. Every sunrise brings a fresh start, a chance to reset, and the opportunity to make choices that shape the course of your day. And for those living with sickle cell disease, a consistent morning routine can be a game changer. Consider, for instance, our friend Zoe. At just 15, she's found a powerful ally in a 10-minute guided meditation app. She starts each day with a moment of calm, setting a positive tone for the hours ahead. This simple routine not only reduces stress but also helps Zoe manage her sickle cell disease more effectively. Now, whether you're a fan of meditation or not, the takeaway here is clear. Starting your day with intentionality and care can significantly impact your overall well-being. So, remember, starting your day right can make a significant difference in your overall health. What you eat and drink plays a crucial role in managing sickle cell disease. Nutrition is a cornerstone of self-care, and smart eating strategies can make a world of difference. Consider the example of Marcus, a 30-year-old who has turned meal prep into an art form by dedicating Sunday afternoons to preparing nutrient-rich meals for the week, he ensures he always has healthy options on hand. His meals are balanced, packed with vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and heart-healthy fats. This helps him maintain steady energy levels and supports his overall health. But what about hydration? Well, it's equally essential. Staying well hydrated can help prevent crises and keep your body functioning optimally. Let's take a look at Aisha, a 28-year-old who has created a hydration station in her home office. Aisha's hydration station is more than just a water cooler. It's a creative, enjoyable way to stay hydrated throughout the day. She experiments with infused water recipes, adding flavors like cucumber, mint, or lemon to make drinking water more enjoyable. This not only keeps her well hydrated, but also adds a touch of fun to her daily routine. Of course, these are just examples. What works for Marcus or Aisha may not work for you. The key here is to find strategies that suit your lifestyle and preferences. Maybe you prefer smoothies or juices over infused water. Perhaps you find it easier to prepare meals twice a week instead of once. The goal is to nourish your body and stay hydrated in a way that's sustainable for you. Remember, it's not just about what you eat and drink, but also how you do it. Eating mindfully, enjoying your meals, and staying present while you eat can enhance your nutrition journey. And when it comes to hydration, remember to sip throughout the day, not just when you're thirsty. With a bit of planning and creativity, you can ensure your body gets the nutrients and hydration it needs. This isn't just about managing sickle cell disease, it's about empowering yourself to live your best life every day. Balancing activity and rest, as well as managing stress, are key in daily sickle cell management. Let's talk about energy management first. It's about understanding your body's rhythms and planning your day accordingly. For instance, consider the story of James. James is a 45-year-old who uses a simple app to track his energy levels throughout the day. James's energy mapping helps him plan his activities and rest periods more effectively, allowing him to make the most of his energy peaks and rest during his energy dips. This strategy not only helps James maintain his energy levels but also helps him prevent sudden fatigue or exhaustion. Now let's shift gears and talk about stress. Stress can trigger sickle cell crises so it's crucial to keep it in check. One way to do this is by incorporating stress-busting techniques into your daily routine. Look at Sarah, a 35-year-old who has developed a consistent bedtime ritual. 
Sarah's routine includes gentle stretching exercises and a cup of herbal tea before bed. This routine not only helps her wind down and prepare for sleep, but also reduces her stress levels, improving her overall sleep quality. It's important to note that what works for James and Sarah may not work for everyone. It's about finding what works best for you. Maybe it's a midday nap, a relaxing bath, a mindfulness app, or even a fun hobby that helps you unwind. The key is consistency. These strategies, while simple, can make a significant difference in managing your energy levels and stress. They can help you feel more in control, improve your quality of life, and reduce the frequency of sickle cell crises. As always, it's important to discuss any new strategies with your healthcare team to ensure they fit well with your overall treatment plan. In conclusion, energy management and stress-busting techniques are not just about surviving the day, they're about thriving, about living your life to the fullest, despite the challenges sickle cell disease may present. Remember, maintaining a balance between activity and rest and keeping stress levels in check can significantly improve your quality of life. Let's look at some tools that can help you manage your sickle cell disease daily. First, medication organizers. These handy tools can help ensure that you're taking your medications consistently and at the right times, reducing the stress of having to remember multiple dosages. However, they do require regular refilling and can be a bit bulky, especially if you're traveling. Next up, wearable health trackers. These devices can provide valuable health data and encourage regular movement. They can be a bit on the pricey side though, and for some, constantly monitoring their health data can lead to anxiety. Let's talk about home exercise routines. Regular physical activity can improve your overall health and it's convenient to do from the comfort of your own home. But it requires a good bit of self-motivation and you need to be careful not to overexert yourself. Mindfulness apps are another great tool. They offer accessible stress relief that you can use anywhere, anytime. On the downside, some of these apps require a subscription, and if you're using them before bed, the screen time can disrupt your sleep. Finally, we have nutrient tracking apps. These can help ensure you're getting a balanced diet and increase your awareness of your eating habits. However, they can be time-consuming to use and may lead to obsessive behavior in some people. Remember, these tools are just that, tools. They're here to assist you, but they're not a cure-all. It's important to find a balance that works for you and supports your overall health and well-being. Also, don't be afraid to mix and match these strategies. Maybe you find that a combination of a wearable health tracker and a mindfulness app works best for you. Or perhaps you prefer a simple medication organizer and a home exercise routine. The key is to make these tools work for you in your daily life. Choosing the right tools can make daily management of sickle cell disease much easier and more effective. Prevention is better than cure, especially when it comes to managing sickle cell disease. That's a mantra we should all live by. Today, we're going to discuss some prevention strategies that can help you navigate your daily life with sickle cell disease more effectively. First up is temperature management. Your body's internal temperature can significantly affect how you feel. Too hot or too cold, and it can trigger a sickle cell crisis. That's where smart thermostats come into play. They allow you to maintain an optimal temperature in your home environment creating a comfortable and stable space for you to thrive. It's like having a personal climate control system at your fingertips. Next, let's talk about air quality control. Poor air quality, whether it's from dust, mold, or other allergens, can be a sneaky trigger for sickle cell crises. But don't worry, there's a solution for that too. Air purifiers are a great way to reduce potential triggers in your home. They work by filtering out these harmful particles, keeping your air clean and your body happy, it's like having a breath of fresh air right inside your home. Lastly, we have regular self-checks. This is a simple yet powerful strategy. By incorporating daily body scans into your routine, you're giving yourself the chance to catch potential issues early. This could be anything from a new pain or discomfort to a change in energy levels. The key is to be aware of your body and its signals and to act promptly if something doesn't feel right. It's like having your own personal health detective always on the case. Now these strategies might seem straightforward, but they can make a world of difference. They're about being proactive, about taking control of your environment and your body. By implementing these prevention strategies, you can avoid triggers, catch potential issues early, and ultimately make your daily life with sickle cell disease more manageable. Remember, prevention is not just about avoiding crises, it's about empowering you to live your best life, each and every day. Implementing these prevention strategies can help you avoid triggers and catch potential issues early, making your daily life with sickle cell disease more manageable. Let's recap what we've learned today. 
We've discussed the importance of starting your day right, maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated, managing your energy, and keeping stress at bay. We've also highlighted the effectiveness of real-world scenarios like Zoe's morning meditation, Marcus's meal prep, Aisha's hydration station, James's energy mapping, and Sarah's bedtime ritual. Moreover, we've examined the pros and cons of daily management strategies like medication organizers, wearable health trackers, home exercise routines, mindfulness apps, and nutrient tracking apps. And finally, we've underscored the significance of prevention strategies like temperature management, air quality control, and regular self-checks. Remember, living with sickle cell disease isn't just about managing crises, it's about thriving every single day. With these hacks, tips, and routines, you can take control of your daily well-being. Before we wrap up, here's a quick disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended as medical advice. Any health-related decision should be discussed with a licensed physician or qualified healthcare professional, especially if you have existing health conditions or are taking medications. Thank you for joining us in the Victory Education Lounge for this practical discussion on daily sickle cell management. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Your engagement helps us create more content that educates and empowers the sickle cell community. Until next time, this is Maurice, reminding you that with the right habits and hacks, you can take charge of your daily life with sickle cell disease.